Well, it's a beautiful, sunny, sunny day out here. And unfortunately, we've got work to do, but I thought we're going to give this thing a bit of a wash. Um, but I thought we didn't really get a shot of it with the roof down, so I thought, what the heck? Um, means I've got to put the roof back up again in a minute, but it's pretty easy to do. Everything just sits under this little section here. And, um, but, um, yep, and probably should have wound some windows down to get a better shot of this, but, uh, but no, nah, look, she's, she's running well. Needs a good run, though. It needs a, a real nice um, country run. So uh, we'll get it plated up probably sooner rather than later. I was going to leave it a little while before I did that, but um, oh, I'm just getting a bit sort of excited that days like today, you don't want to be sitting around. You just want to be driving it and, uh, you know, with the roof down and, and basically, uh, you, in my case, uh, cap on because uh, there's not much hair left these days, I tell you. Anyway, this is only a short video just of the uh, uh, the roof uh, off the 62 Corvette, which I should have done the other day, but I didn't do. But anyway, that's okay. It does happen. Uh, they, look, honestly, they look a lot better with the roof down. And, I mean, for example, uh, I think they look a lot better. Oh, here we go. Hang on. Even just dropping a... Yeah, see, even just dropping a window starts to just give it that really sleek look. Now I've got to drop the other window just to see what it looks like. I can't help it, it's just a part of me that has to do certain things just to get a look and see how it appears. I might even grab a couple of photos because in, in the auction it was always um, with the roof up. Uh, yeah, they never actually had a time when uh, uh, the roof was down. And. Um, uh, I assume probably people did sort of have a play with the roof mechanism because um, if the roof mechanism doesn't work well, well, you know, they can be a bit of a pain. This one had a new roof fitted to it a thousand miles ago, so the uh, condition of the roof is really, really good, so that's uh, a little bit less to worry about. Um, they're not a car that you'd want to take in the torrential rain, though. Um, even though it's got a new roof fitted and everything, oh, I don't reckon it seals <laughs> anywhere near as good as what it needs to. You might um, you might be getting your hair dryer out to uh, to uh, uh, blow a couple of things dry, uh, maybe even yourself. So this is definitely a real good summer car, <laughs> and um, uh, we'll see. I, I mean, I can have a play with the adjustments on the the um, on the roof. There, there is a way to tension it a little bit better um, and um, get it to pull down probably a little bit harder. Uh, but um, I think the way the guys set it up. He wasn't intending to uh, to ever drive it in the rain, that's <laughs> for sure. Um, but uh, I've, I've heard stories of um, people that have over-tightened them. Uh, these levers here uh, that come up and, and down, this sort of clicks into it. So basically that little section there clicks in, pulls it down. Um, I've heard of people snapping those through over-adjusting them. So you, you know, there is a, a happy medium you've got to find. Um, and I worked out the only thing that doesn't work on this bloody car, all the gauges work beautifully. And would you believe it? It's the clock down there. And uh, so I've got a mate that's a watchmaker in uh, Wodonga. I'm going to have to pull that clock out and see if he can get that going. All right, there is an entire car trailer load of stuff that has to come out. And that car trailer needs to go. So do those LG stands too. I'll put them somewhere else. Um, but um, yeah, so I've got to get, get some real work done. But I thought I'll just fire it up and uh, I don't know, dream about driving it because um, I can't really drive it with no rego at the moment. Um, but uh, that's all right, we'll get to it. Okay, all the best and one Corvette 1962 with a roof off. See you later, bye.